welcome back to the channel um as you might guess by what you're seeing right now um i'm going to be giving you guys a little tour of where i like do all of my coloring um my recording and where i store all my art supplies and my coloring books um so i'm gonna start off with my main desk first which is over here um so as you can see i have one main desk here and then i have another desk which is pushed up against it to make this sort of l shape um so i do have like my recording arm um this is what you guys see in the background of most of my videos um so i'm just gonna sit down um my desk is actually stored in my living room which is where i do most of my coloring because i have a young child <laughs> um which is caden and he's four years old so i like to be near him whenever it's like daytime and i'm coloring and stuff so i can keep an eye on him right so on to the good stuff <laughs> um so what i use to record um is actually this you know this recording arm which is attached to my desk um and that just sits over my desk here that allows me to record from above um which is great and i use that for all of my videos um so over here we have my little wooden storage um so this has like if i bring you in a bit closer so i have some mechanical uh paper mate pencils uh they just stay in there because i like to use a lot of mechanical pencils when i'm drawing um i have my burnishers which i barely ever use um a random derwent metallic pencil and my one and only derwent light fast <laughs> which are really amazing i want to get some more of those um i then have some of my sketching pencils and my uh derwent precision uh mechanical pencil um in this little one i have my derwent uh battery eraser and then i've got a couple of um fine liner pens i use these ones quite a lot um this is the pilot drawing pen um i usually have them in three different sizes and they're quite good i also have um the derwent line marker fine liner in black and then i have one in purple and i've also got a black sharpie in there um in this little one i have just like biro pens some more sketching pencils um <laughs> i what's this a cream polychromos which i clearly need to put back in its case uh, i then have my blenders my blending stumps which i use for drawing um then in this one i have a small bottle of glossy accents um i've got some derwent precision uh refills for my mechanical pencil and I've also got my one little sad stickles, <laughs> which are really amazing, by the way. They're so glittery and I do want to get some more because they're fantastic. And then any other little cubbies that I have, I usually use for like 
um, colouring pages and for whatever pages I'm using I'll just pop the pencils for each page in each little cubby um, so I can keep an eye on what I'm using. I've then got a couple of little um, sticky tabs which I use for my swatch book. Some more little random sticky tabs. Um, a eraser. A makeup sponge. <laughs> It's really random what things I do have in here. Um, a Derwent eraser. So they just all sit in there. So difficult to film this as well. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it all so steady for you. I've then got my, my little pink metallic coasters, which I use for my drinks. Um, I've then got my water, which I use for when I'm doing painting. I usually have my tablet on my desk. Um, I then have my um, overhead light, which I got off of Amazon, which is absolutely amazing because my living room is so dark. Um, it's just, hold on, let me just tilt this up just a little bit. Um, yeah, my living room is so dark, so this, this light is a must-have for me. Um... I've got a book here, which is what I plan on working in, in next. Um, then I have my little pot of sharpeners. So I've got a coom sharpener. I've got my tea gal um, sharpener. And then I have these little um, Derwent sharpeners, which are really good, actually. And then I've just got a little pot of sharpenings. And I just keep it in this tray because... The sharpenings are forever getting over my desk and it drives me absolutely nuts. Um, over here, I will pull this out and show you guys what I have in here. So, I've got some white printing card. Um, I have my tan-toned sketchbook which I do believe I have a few things in here that I've been working on. Um, I've got this little owl sketch. I was doing a sketch of Ariel, which I never completed. Uh, probably should go back and do that at some point. And then I have some pencil sketches of testing out different facial features. And I believe that's it in that sketchbook yeah so I've only fairly recently brought this and I do want to try and use it a bit more because I love drawing so it would be amazing to get back into that I've then got my little bits of card that I like to keep um, behind pages that I'm colouring in markers and then I have my big sketchbook um, some of you may have already seen what's inside this one um, this is a fairly new sketchbook I think I've had quite a few over the years um, so yeah <laughs> Um, this one, I'll show you it from up here. Uh, I started this quite a while ago. It was one of the first pages I ever posted on my Instagram. And I loved how it was turning out. And then I destroyed it with the background. So, I would love to go back and try and fix that. Um, maybe like paint over it or something. But I had plans to draw like a little road going up with the moonlight and like um, some sort of silhouette on the pathway and then obviously the owl sort of up in the trees so yeah and then I've just got lots of little bits like marker swatches and all sorts of things in here um, another owl 
I love drawing owls. It's just it's one of my favourite things. Um, background tutorial. That was from my very first YouTube video, I believe. Um, one of my current work in progresses. I'm working on doing a video for this. Let's try and get a better angle. There we go. Um, I'm recording this video from start to finish as I'm working on it. So it will be on my YouTube when I eventually do finish it. Um, the background. I like to test a lot of things out in my sketchbook. Um, I made a video for this one. Um... Yeah, and I believe that's pretty much everything. I've probably got a few little bits in here from my son. Um, another owl sketch, which was done quite a long time ago. And then a little random doodle over there. Uh, this one was actually done a very, very long time ago. Um, yeah, very long time ago. It's actually a self-portrait, which I turned into a Day of the Dead um, page. And that was all hand-drawn by myself. Um, gosh, I can't remember when I drew this. It, it was a really long time ago. Um, then I've got some, I think these are all from my older sketchbook. Um, and I have this little one and this one, this was back from 2014. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I used to love designing tattoos. I still do. Um, yeah. And then I've got this one, which is... A koi fish, which I done back in 2015. Um, and a portrait I was working on many, many years ago um, that I never finished. And that was of a friend and her mum. And I believe that is... Oh, so much stuff. <laughs> That's everything in that sketchbook. Um, then I do have a diamond painting, which I bought like, oh, I don't even know how long ago. Forever ago. And I done a little bit on it, as you can see, but I just never really took to diamond paint in. It just, I prefer colouring. <laughs> But I still have it in there just in case maybe one day I'll go back to it. And then I've got all of the um, the drills and stuff in there. And then I've just got a little random felt um, pouch which did have paintbrushes in. So I'm going to pop this all away. I've not long tidied my desk, so <laughs> I'm trying to keep it as tidy as I possibly can, but it just, it never works. So that's all that's in that one. Um, in here, I have a pair of scissors. I've got a stencil, which I use for my bokeh backgrounds. Um, some rulers couple of packs of stickers um i have some clear sticky back plastic which i use to put on the front cover of my ivy and the inky butterfly um when i colored the page i also have a random fluffy sock <laughs> um it's a bit of a weird find for a draw right <laughs> then i got some different rulers here, a sponge, which I like to use these sponges, they're just cheap cleaning sponges and they're great for like getting texture and backgrounds and clouds. Um, and then I also have some file separators as well. 
so that's it for that one I was cleaning out my desk the other day and I was just like um I feel like I don't have enough stuff so <laughs> I mean it's kind of a good thing right because it means I can buy some more right so then now down here I'm gonna have to move my chair out of the way okay so I don't have much in here I've just got a puzzle book and some tracing paper um this should be on the bottom shelf my empty box of uh Karen Dash Luminance portrait set and then I have my swatches which I will show you guys just some swatches that I have I had done there um then I have another one which has like color combinations um I started some more color combos there just so that I can try and keep track of what colours I've used and what I like. Um, then I have a PDF folder which has just some completed pages, some pages that I haven't completed. Um, I want to get that one done and then I've got some little... Um, like postcards and stuff. I got the Momo Girl one. Um, I believe that one was from Serene. I believe I got that with. Um, so yeah, I just got all my little bits that I've got with colouring books. Um, this was from the Fairy Celebrations. And then I just have some pdfs that i want to get colored in and i think that's it in there i've only recently got a printer so um i haven't printed off many pdfs i then have like this random notebook which is amazing by the way <laughs> i only got it because i loved the sequins and i haven't even used it yet but i'm sure i will find something for that and then on the very bottom um you guys have already seen that one i've got um my glue gun I won't get it all out because I'm doing it all one-handed, so it's a bit of a pain. Um, I've then got my empty packets and things for, like, pencils that I brought. I've got my empty Arteza 120 set. And my 60 tin for the polychromos. So I'm just going to pop those back oh i've also got the monarch cardboard cover as well um just pop these back in and then pop these folders back as well try and tidy as i go along otherwise my desk will be an absolute mess um right over to this side now we'll start down here um i will sit on the floor <laughs> so i have my on the bottom shelf i've got my arteza 60 gouache colors paints um they sit just up there i use them quite a bit and then in this little, um, what do you call it, like basket, I've got some kitchen roll, which I always have handy for when I'm painting. Um, I've then got my Clearo gold set of watercolour paints, which are amazing, by the way. 
you've probably seen me use those quite a lot i then have some cheap budget metallic paints which i got for about two pounds in the range um that was probably about two years ago and i can't remember if i've even tried these to be honest so um yeah then i've got some color soft skin tone pencils in here as you can see i use the cream quite a lot because it's a lovely like blending color um but i don't use those very often because i prefer to use the luminance um then i've just got a random little bookmark um what else have i got that was for the Calero paints another sharpener um this was a little um like a little information thing from when i brought my chromatech gel pens and i just really like the colors on it so i just kept it um i then got my color blend uh my everblend marker um swatches that came with it i then got some cheap um bold mere soft pastels a set of 24 i don't really use soft pastels but i wanted to give them a go so i just brought some cheap ones and they aren't that great to be honest so i just haven't used them again since um <laughs> random wet wipe i then have okay let's zoom you out just a little bit i then have this set of arteza watercolors i have used them a little bit um not that much because i I like them but I still need to get used to them a little bit so I do need to get them out a bit more and try and use these because I did love them I used to love using watercolors um but I stopped like coloring and painting for quite a long time it was about four and a half years until I started drawing and stuff again so it's been a while since I've used these um but yeah, when I got these, I did, I have every intention of getting back into using my watercolours. So I'm just going to pop these all back in. sat on the floor right now <laughs> um so the next shelf is where i keep my colored pencils so in this one you'll have to excuse because i'm pretty sure half of these pencils are not in the case unless i've put them back in oh my gosh this is so difficult to undo these <laughs> oh dear right So, in this one, I have my Arteza pencils. Uh, clearly, they need reorganising and putting back into colour um, into colour sections in colour order. Because I have just thrown them in here. And, yeah, as you can see, my blues are probably my most used colour because I just love colouring anything blue i've got a random pen um so yeah that's where my artisans live i'm not gonna bother doing it back up because that's gonna take forever uh then i have this case which houses um excuse my fluffy slipper um 
So this is where I keep my pollies. I was using these yesterday, so I'll just pop them to the side. Um, so this is where I keep my pollies. I only have half of the set at the moment. Um, yeah, surprise, surprise, like half of my pencils are just chucked in the back of the case. Um, yeah, I do plan on buying the rest because I'm getting them all open stock. Just because it works out easier for me. Um, so yeah, that's where I keep those. Oh my gosh, like how do you guys record with like, <laughs> you know, one hand and use the other to open things? Um, in this case, oh my gosh. <laughs> Right, okay, so this case, I know these pencils are going to go everywhere because I used them last night and I've got lots of pencils that are loose right now. Oh my god, I really should have sorted this out before I started recording, so I do apologise if pencils go everywhere. So I've got my Lumis in here. Um, let's see if I can undo the rest. Um, I am buying these also open stock, so I've got just over half the set so far. Um, more loose pencils. I've got quite a lot of the blues because I use those the most. Um, let's do it this way. And some more open pencils. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's those. I'm just going to pop them up on my desk and I'll sort that out after I've finished. Uh, I then have my Black Widow sets. I'm yet to get a pencil case for these. So I have the Skin Tone Dark set. I have the Monarch pencils, uh, which are the newest ones, and then I have the Black Widows and oh yeah, the Black Widows and the Black Widow. Um, is it the Scorpion set? So I have those. Just pop them back up there. Right, and then up in this tiny little shelf, um, I have my Derwin Ink Tent 72 set and my 30 set of Neo Color 2s. So I'm just going to pause the video here and I'll be back in two seconds um, and I will see you guys in a minute. Okay, so I am back now, guys. I'm um, just going to move my chair so I can sit down and talk to you all. So I've got left to show you guys this side of the desk. Um, so here I have my new swatch book, which is the Rosie Charms Big Book of Colour Charts, which is amazing, by the way. And I like to use uh, these little tags um, so I can find my swatches a lot easier. So I always have this quite close by to me so it's on hand so whenever I want to um, look up some colour combinations and stuff. So I'm going to show you guys these pots first. So in here, I have a variety of brushes. So I've got some cheaper, like just some cheap brushes that I got off of Amazon. 
Um, I just wanted something that was just cheap and cheerful to try out. I'm not that keen on them, to be honest. They're quite... Um, I don't know, they just don't seem to hold the paint very well. I then got some other well-loved cheap brushes, which were amazing, by the way. <laughs> I still keep them around, but they've almost, you know, outlived themselves now. I then have... I've got a set, I think, of 12 golden maple um, modelling brushes, which are brilliant. Like, they are so good. They come in all different sizes. You've got some that are more, like, flat paint brushes, and then you've got rounded tips. Um... I then have a couple of water brushes. This is the Arteza water brush. Then I've got uh, another Arteza water brush, which I've been using with my... Um, oh my gosh, what are they called? I literally just picked them up. <laughs> oh my god, I'm having a blank moment. Um... Let me have a look. The, yeah, the Derwent Ink Tents. <laughs> oh my god, I need a new brain. Um, I then have my Zig Detailer um, water brush, which I haven't tried yet, and I'm really looking forward to giving that a go. And then just lots of different brushes. Okay. Right, in this one, I store... All of my Pentel Dual Metallic gel pens because they are my go-to favourite. So I've got all different um, colours. I also keep my Jelly Roll uh, white gel pen. Um, my Posca, um, this is the pin type 1MR. So it has... Um, the pin type nib um, let's try and put that back on and then I have the standard uh, PC 3mm um, this is more of a like a fibre tip kind of nib so I keep those all in this little pot because I, I do use them quite a lot and I like to keep them close by I then got my inhaler because I'm asthmatic and, you know, I need to keep that cl quite close by. And then I have a little notebook which I've just been using to keep track of, like, colour combinations. And, um, like, I use it to write down video ideas. Uh, this was for my most recent colour along that I did for Halloween. Um, so I'll pop that there. Um, now we're going to start off down here. So I have some blue tag because I want to start putting up um, some little like pictures and stuff on the wall just to remember like things that I've got or been given. Um, so that's that. I then have my whole little um, wow. It's yeah what they're called sticky notes <laughs> um so i've got all of these which i use to mark out my pages that i've finished or i want to color i've then got my larger ones which i use to write down notes for any coloring pages so that's that and it's in a nice little handy leather case as well which is good so they're all in one place i've then got um, my Chromatech refills, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is going, oh dear, right, then I've got some staples and some, um, paper clips, so that's that in that section, and if you're wondering, I did actually make this whole storage unit myself, um it was really easy and it's just been an absolute lifesaver for storage so <laughs> um yeah then i've got under here i've got a stapler 
um, masking tape and cellar tape. And then over here, I have some. Oh my gosh, now everything's gonna decide to come out, isn't it? Stay. <laughs> um, I've got some metallic pencils which I don't really use anymore I just keep them because my son likes to use them so that's that and then over here I've just got a little journal that I'm yet to start using and another swatch book which I don't use um then over here I've got as you've just seen because they decide to fall out I need to stick something on to kind of keep them upright and a bit more level so they don't slip out i've been meaning to do it for ages but i just haven't got around to it but these are all of my um my arteza if it wants to focus real brush pens and i keep them all here just because they're easy to reach and i keep them in you know little colour segment so it's easier to find which colour I want. Um, I then have all of my um, Arteez Everblend markers which I use a lot for five pen challenges and stuff so that's all of those and then in this one I have my one little lonely Windsor & Newton Pro marker and my Everblend blender and then in this little cubby I have my uh, Statler um, dual ended fibre tip pens I believe they're called if it's going to focus there we go and they have a broad tip and a fine tip and I use those a lot for um my spirals lines and dots books and then over here in this little cubby i have some crayola super tips which i also use for like one color sun life drawing books and um, then i've got my bic intensity there we go my bic intensity fine liners and then i have some cheap uh wh smith's uh fine liners which i never really use because i don't really use fine liners that much and then up in this one i've got three empty uh pen towel dual metallic um pens oh, we're almost done with the stationary stuff now guys <laughs> uh in this one I have all of my Chromatech gel pens. This one I have, um, I think they're called Scribblicious gel pens. I've got the metallic ones in here. And then I have the pastels um, and the metallic. Yeah, so I've got the pastels and metallics in this ones and the glitter ones in there. Um, okay. Right, so then I have, like, just a gold pencil case, which I use if I'm going out and about and I just want to pack a few pens. Um, I've got a random makeup brush, which I like to use for, like, you know, like, pastels and things like that. I've got my little... Ashley's colouring creations thing which I used to put in my Instagram photos just so that people knew it was mine this is my son's because he drives me absolutely nuts so I've got to hide it because he bangs it on everything just a bit of tissue that I use for painting um sort of a random pen it's more of a um sort of like a gift pen rather than a pen that I write with and then I've got a little rose which I got from my son um 
Another rubber. A pair of child scissors. And some antiseptic cream because my son's forever hurting himself. Um, and I've got a picture of one of my cats, which his name is Shadow. And he lives with my mum, but he was my very first pet and he's gorgeous. Uh, then I have my little mannequin, which I use if I want to try and draw like posture portraits and things like that. It just helps to get proportions right. Um, then up in this little box, I did paint this box myself. Uh, me and my son made them together. He's got one and I have one. Um, so in here... Um, I will show you guys. I keep my Black Widow um, name tags and stuff, which I use for colour alongs. I've got some erasers here, which go on the end of my um, precision drawing mechanical pencil. I've got some more um, Derwent Precision refills. Um, and then I have a set of uh, Faber-Castell name cards as well for colour alongs. And that's it in there. It's just a nice little box that I'm able to um, keep them all in one place with. So... That's the main desk. I've got my, my nice fluffy yellow seat that I sit in. And now over on to the books. So up here, excuse these. <laughs> Every lady has a snack while she's colouring, you know. You've, you've got to be able to do that. Um, I've just got random bits of paperwork there right let's move those right so I've got all of my larger coloring books um which go up here just because they don't fit on the main shelves and then I've got my pile of completed pages for this month uh which is October so I'm filming this on the 27th um and down here I've got my coloring books which I have, I've got all of my uh, Colour in Heaven books, then I've got my uh, Dada Cat wedding dresses, um, I've got Find Colour, and then I've got all of my like Jade Summer colouring books. Um, my Camellia Angel Cova books. And then I've got uh, Kelly Horton, uh, Sun Life Drawing. I've got um, a Harry Potter colouring book. I've got my Creative Havens. Um, I've got the Groovy Owls colouring book. I've got. <laughs> Momo Girls with Music. I then got my hardback books, which are Maria Troll, uh, Troll A, sorry, um, Hannah Carlson, Clara Markova. I've got an Ivy and Inky Butterfly, and um, my Million Owls, and well, just the Million uh, Lulu Mayo books, the Rita Berman. Um, Good Wives and Warriors, and then I've just got some Hatchet Hero uh, Disney colouring books. Then, down here, I have my mythographic colouring books. I've got uh, Mermaids in Paradise. I've got the Kirby Roseanne's books. Um, what else do I have? I've got Kanoko. Igosa? I can never say her name right. 
but uh, Rhapsody in the Forest anyway. I've got Pop Manga, uh, Thomas Love Tomic, and then I've got my other Joanna Basford books. And then over here is just what I keep out for my son. So he's got his colouring pencils and um, his own soft pastels, oil pastels, a couple of super tips. We got acrylic paints and then these are just some extra little books. I got a, a scratch and sketch book and that was a gift and a little notebook. And then this is all my son's colouring books. So he does actually have um, his own copies of Kirby, um, his own scratch and colour. And then he's got the Jade Summer and a couple of others. He's even got, um, I believe he's got a Colour in Haven book as well. He's got the Dragons one because he absolutely loves dragons. And then just down here I have my printer because I've literally got nowhere else to put it at the moment. Um, so yeah, that is, guys, excuse the Jaffa cakes because I will be eating those whilst I'm colouring tonight. Um, so yeah, that is my art desk and everything that I have. Um... So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed seeing all of my supplies and where I colour and yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you all have a fantastic day or evening whenever you're watching and I will catch you all in the next video.